good old Nathan Oakley over at Nathan Oakley 1980. Please also share the show on social media. Sharing the show obviously increases the live audience, but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel. So please share the show on Facebook and Twitter. One last time, if you're new to the channel or you've not done so already, then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and join button to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. You have 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Simon, Dan, Alice and Bob take two hours to do a job. Alice and Charlie take three hours to do that same job. Bob and Charlie take four hours to do that job. How long does it take Alice, Bob and Charlie to do that job? You have 24 hours to reply. You guys had a, a question from Simon Dan sent to you by email? No. I was chatting with David Weiss earlier and brought up Simon Dan in his conversation. And I said, Oh, that's a funny coincidence. You should bring up si Simon Dan. He sent me an email this morning, just out of the blue. And uh, David was like, Yeah, me too. So we swapped <laughs> and compared emails that Simon Dan had sent us. Would you like to hear him? Yeah, go ahead. Hi Nathan, student measured the frequency of a water wave as 5 hertz. Calculate the period of the water waves. You have 24 hours. Want to hear the one he sent to Dave Weiss? Go ahead. Hi David, a car has a mass of 750 kilograms. How is the kinetic energy of the car calculated when the car is travelling 8 meters per second? You have 24 hours. Would you like to hear um, my reply? Okay. Oh. Yes, Nathan, we'd love to. Yes, Nathan! Oh, go, go. Go, go. Dear globe worshipping wanker, measure R. You have the rest of your natural born life. Good luck with that. My question will change your world. I ask it daily, along with a few others you can't answer. Is, quote, they're just wrong. Your final answer on the second law of thermodynamics versus space. Or did you need another lifeline? Nice. Oh, I, uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. I got one. But this was June 8th. This was right after the numpty clip came out on him. I, so here you go. Hi, John. A crate. On a crane weighs 11,500 newtons and is lifted vertically 2.6 meters. Calculate the work done to lift the crate. You have 24 hours. My response, piss off, booger eater. You can't recover, son. You have 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? what? What's going off? Is I don't know. He can do his own work or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's really weird. To... Just a bunch of gamma rage. I'm trying to catch Flat Earthers out in a gotcha question when he's been caught out in questions that are paradigm changing. He's asking basic physics questions. I don't really get it. It's pretty desperate, is what I read from that, mate. That's I've got nowhere to go with regards to the shape of the Earth catch up so i'm just going to throw random questions at you like a pub quiz <laughs> cycles per second be a physics question or a maths question math to it, so it's they're all mathematics oh. questions they're not physics questions it's a, it's a, I thought you it was gotta a math realize question. though how they think how a lot of these people think you know they're not trying to convince us they're trying to convince their own it, so we won't fall for that shit what but the ten to fourteen year olds? That, will yeah, you know, he's got ten to fourteen right. year olds. That that's his target audience. That's who he has. So I don't know. Sci fi scam. You can't recover, son. You're already numpty clipped. It's over for you. I mean, that was a tear jerking belly laugh. You should have heard how many people commented to me personally on that one. They loved it. You're finished. Does the the energy of cars and cycles per second or Newton's begging the question? 
questions. These are maths questions. The title is physics question. That's what the title of the email was. Same for Dave. Presumably same for you. Title physics question. Um, hold on. It's maths. Number of cycles per second. That's maths. Well, the 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 answer he's after is just pure mathematics. There's no, isn't it? It's just the calculation he's asking you to perform. It's it, it's physics in that it's a physical wave he's talking about. But actually, what he's testing you on is maths. Yeah. No, mine was not. Uh, introduced with physics. It just said, hi, John. That's it. Yeah. Like I say, the, the pertinent nature of the question is what's relevant to me in terms of when we're asking him, how can you have gas pressure without a container? And he's asking a BBC physicist for the answer. That's relevant to the nature of existence. How many cycles of a five hertz wave isn't paradigm changing in any way, shape or form. I want questions, right? I, actually, I was bored this afternoon, right? I've, I've got it in front of me on this paper, right? Uh, there was a question on YouTube, like a maths question. I've, I spent like half an hour or so just working that out. So, Simon, Dan, send me one. I'll give you one, Dan. It's the one I did this afternoon, right? Um, Alice and Bob take two hours to do a job. Alice and Charlie take three hours to do the same job. Bob and Charlie take four hours to do the same job. How long does it take all three of them to do the same job? Quite a good question. Like I said, it took me about half an hour. So. Yes. Math. Maths question Math. again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have maths questions off Simon Dan, please, because I find them entertaining, as sad as that may sound. Can you ask the question again? But at the end, say... You have 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Simon and Dan, Alice and Bob take two hours to do a job. Alice and Charlie take three hours to do that same job. Bob and Charlie take four hours to do that job. How long does it take Alice, Bob and Charlie to do that job? You have 24 hours to reply. This question will not change your worldview on anything at all. You and, your, you and your reference frames have been ruined. Good old Nathan Oakley over at Nathan Oakley 1980.